This is week five's video. Uh, the first one is to know. You're going to have a bent five and tap the side of your forehead, so to know. Not know is the same hand shape, except you're gonna move outwards after. So not know and kind of shake your head. Not know. To like, you're going to do with, uh, start with open eight and then at your chest, you're going to move out and close your fingers together. To like, from the side, to like. The next one is to not like something. It's the same thing, um, except at the end, you're going to flick out. So not like, and you can sh shake your head again, not like. The next one is to want. You're going to do both hands facing upwards and you're going to pull towards yourself a bit to want something. To not want something, uh, you're going to do the same at the beginning and then push out. So not want something. Um, I remember it as you're pushing it away because you don't want it near you. So not want. The next one is to enjoy. You're going to have both hands, one on your stomach, one on your chest, and move it in circles. This is to enjoy something. Uh, it's mainly used for referring to food. So I enjoyed the dinner or I enjoyed the breakfast, any of that. The next one is favorite. You're going to do the open eight and touch your middle finger to your chin. So this is favorite. Favorite. The next one is learn. You're going to have one hand facing upwards and with the other hand, it's kind of like taking the knowledge from the paper and putting it in your brain. So this is to learn, to learn. And then we could also change that into student by adding the person sign. So you're going to bring it up, touch your forehead, and then sign person. The actual sign for person or people when you're referring to someone is with K's or P's in this case, and you bring them down. But when you're putting what's called an agent marker at the end of a word, you're going to do it with the closed fives. So for teacher or student, for example, you're going to use the agent marker because you're referring to a certain type of person. So again, this is to learn and this is student. The next one is to practice. It's with a one with your non-dominant hand and an S with your dominant hand and you're going to kind of brush against the side of your finger. So this is practice from the side, practice. So again, practice. The next one, understand and not understand are the same hand shapes, it's just all in the head nod. So when you understand, you nod yes, and you flick your finger up like the number 11. So this is understand. Not understand is the same, except you're nodding your head in the no. Uh, so this is, I don't understand. So again, I understand or I don't understand. The next one is can, as in um, I can do this. Uh, so you're going to have both hands as S's and you're going to just move them down. So this is can, I can come, I can take out the trash. Uh, the next one is can't. So you're going to have both hands are the one, and then you're going to brush past the tip of your finger. This is can't or cannot. The next one is to go. To go, you're going to have the ones again. You're going to move it from pointing uh, in one side to the next. So it's kind of like a half circle to go. The next one, look at me. You're going to have the two or a V and you're just going to move your hand towards yourself. Uh, so you're going to be pointing in the direction of the person you're referring to first, and then you're going to twist it towards yourself. So uh, look at me. It's kind of like you're trying to get their gaze towards you. So these are uh, their eyes, and then look at me. The next one, hold on or wait. There's multiple ways of doing this. I personally just hold out a one or a five, uh, so it's like, could you hold on a minute? If you're talking to someone else, you're signing over here, and someone's trying to talk to you from over here, you could say, hold on, or wait. The next one, do. 
as in an assignment is due, not the activity like doing something. So for this one, you're going to have an open five, you're going to have the one, and you can just tap on the palm of your hand. So this is due, as in an assignment is due. The next one is absent. So this one is similar to can't, except it's with your middle finger. So you have an open eight with this hand and a one with this hand, and you're going to just tap the top of your middle finger. So this is absent versus can't. And this is absent. The next one is present or here. It's kind of just, you have both hands are open fives. You're just referring to this place. So this is here or present. The next one is today and it's the same sign for now. So today or now is with wise you're just going to bring them down. So now or today. The next one, tomorrow, is with an open A from your cheek. You're going to move it out. Tomorrow. The next one is yesterday. Again, an open A. You're going to move from the bottom of your chin and then tap towards the back right in front of your ear. So this is yesterday. The next one is morning. So you're going to have one hand. This kind of represents the ground and this hand. Uh, it's an open B. It kind of represents the sun. So you're going to move your arm up for morning. So again, you're moving up for morning. The next one is noontime, as in 12 o'clock. You're going to have the ground again, and you're going to have your dominant hand, and you're going to sign 12. So you flick both fingers up. So this is noon. The next one, afternoon, you have the ground again, and with your dominant hand, you're going to move it down. So this is afternoon, like the sun is going down. Uh, the next one is night, so you're going to have, you don't need your whole arm for this one, you're just going to have your hand, and you kind of cup your dominant hand over your non-dominant hand, so this is night. And midnight is the opposite of noon. So you're going to have the ground, and it's hard to see, but you're going to have your hand facing down and then sign 12. So this is midnight.